Welcome, this is the energy vibration reading for um, the zodiac energy of the waterman for the full moon reading. Full moon reading is from the 18th of May until the 15th of May until the 15th of June. Let's see what's coming out for you guys and let's see the situation that is transpiring um, in this full moon for you, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion. So remember, we have the people who the sun people are the people who were born 12 a.m. to 6 p.m. Then we have the energy of the moon people who were born between the hours of uh, um, between the hours of uh, 6 um, p.m. and 6 a.m. So for the sun people, we have the energy of the Aquarians, whoever these people are, is coming up. Then we have the energy of Jupiter. So some of you are going to be having luck against the Aquarian, which is um, very, very wonderful and very positive. We have the energies of the Leo that is coming in, and this is really a positive energy vibration for the Leos. The Leos are, you know, uh, you know, people look at the Leos differently, but I look at the Leos as, uh, you know, very responsible and know what they want and they go after what they want. Then we have Pluto, and this is very good when Pluto comes in because Pluto is going to be removing uh, the Aquarians um, from out your life once and for all. Then we have Saturnus, and Saturnus is really shaking up your life in whatever way. And then we have the energy of Mercury. So this is going to be good because when the energy of Saturnus and Mercury is coming in, Pluto, Saturnus, and Mercury, and I'm seeing a pattern that is going on with this full moon reading is that for the energy of the moon people, the energy, whatever the energy that is coming up for the moon people, um, it is that the planetary aspect is helping you moon people to remove situations out of your life, which is extremely, extremely good. Now we have the energy of the Gemini. So a lot of you are dealing with the air sign, with a Gemini, or Gemini or Aquarians, and we have Mars. Um, the um, energy of Mars, which has to do with career. So for um, this full moon pe period, the energy of Mars, um, career, there is going to be situations that is happening with careers that is happening for you guys because the energy of Mars is here. Mars is always about career. Whatever the situation that is happening, Mars is always about careers. And whenever the energy of the planet of Mars comes up, that means it has something to do with the effect of career. For you Kansas, um, you strengthen what you defend against. So you Kansas are going to be strengthening what you defend against. Um, for you Scorpio, whatever you strongly desire can be yours. So this is a period for you Scorpio, whatever you strongly desire, it is going to be for yours. And for the Pisces, building a bridge from hunger to understanding. So you Pisces in this full moon is going to be building a bridge from anger to understanding, okay? So let's look at the sun people. These are the people who were born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You're going to be dealing with the Aquarians. Whatever the situation with the Aquarians, Pluto is going to be removing the Aquarians and the Geminis out of your life. So... If you are in a relationship with an Aquarius, Pluto is going to be removing them out of your life. If you're in a work situation with a Gemini or a business, Pluto is definitely going to be removing these people out of your life. As we look at Jupiter, some um, really happy, happy, um, unexpected um, situation is going to be coming in for the sun sign people. If you are a sun sign person that was born between the hours of um, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., the energy of Jupiter is here and this is going to be good. Some of you Leos are going to be coming in and, and giving you help um, and luck to deal with an Aquarius. Some Leo is going to be coming in and giving you help to deal with an Aquarius. Then we have the energy looking at moon people, the people who were born um, between the time of 6 a.m. and uh, 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. You have the energy of Pluto. Pluto is going to be removing the Geminis and the Aquarians out of your life for good. So whatever situation, and this is what I'm saying, and I have to do a video about who passed with who, um, air signs and water signs do not have good relationship. If even it starts off well, it's going, it's not going to end well. Um, 
Saturnus I love when Saturnus comes up because Saturnus is going to be definitely removing a Gemini out of your life ends and for all okay this Gemini could be someone at works so, um, this sort of a thing that is going to be happening then we have mercury and the energy of mercury is that whatever deception whatever that was happening some of you are going to be learning to work with uh, um, certain types of energy that is going to be removing you and this is going to be good so let's see the energy from the Aquarians how they are going to be affecting you water sign people they're going to be bringing renewal because they're going to be removed out of your life and our sense of renewal is going to be returning which is very very positive so if you're in relationship with um, Aquarians they're going to be removed out of your life and there is some positive energy Jupiter is coming in and Jupiter is going to be bringing you guys a lot of materialistic um, assets a lot of uh, you know whatever you needed whatever that you needed is definitely definitely it's going to be coming out whatever you need um, in your materialistic world Jupiter is really going to be bringing that to you so if you were open and wishing for a new car a new apartment um, a new television a new phone whatever it is that you were asking for Jupiter is here the Leas are here and the Leas are going to be taking you out of the isolation so some of you was in isolation and the Leos are going to be releasing you out of this isolation so the isolation is in reverse and that is really really positive because a Leo is going to be coming in your life and releasing you out of the isolation Mercury is here and with the energy of Mercury there is forgiveness and forgiveness is coming up because some of you were um, receiving negative energies from other people and what is happening is that um, this could be negative energy from situations at work that has to do with a Gemini or maybe this was a Gemini in your life and um, what is transpiring is that forgiveness is the key and with this forgiveness you're going to be seeing transformation coming up Saturnus is here for you water sign and Saturnus is going to teach you acceptance accept that which you can't change accept that which you can't change and this is what Saturnus is coming up and said listen you know it is what it is you can't change it accept it and see how you can deal with it to move forward and this is going to be very positive and very positive um, outcomes that is going to be coming up Pluto what is happening with Pluto 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 um, impatient and passe, um, the energy of Pluto is going to be removing things that no longer serve you, and then you're going to be learning about this energy. Keep on coming up for a lot of other signs. So cross watch because if you have air signs, uh, um, sun, moon, and rising, or you have a fire sign, or you have earth sign, sun, moon, and rising, go back and check out cross watch the reading with earth sign and that because some of you could have earth sign sun moon and rising signs in your chart and there you can find out and see um, other messages there is a sense of confusion and this could be confusion with work confusion with career confusion is the um, and, and, and victimization confusion um, comes up with victimization okay and some of you are going to be taking some time to contemplate things for yourself before you're going to be moving on and this is going to be good for you water sign because there is healing that is coming in and call up um, on Archangel Michael to heal your throat chakras is all about the blue energy vanity comes in Jupiter is going to bring you a lot of unexpected gifts unexpected materialistic gains is going to be coming in for you guys so that is going to be good forgiveness is the key forgiveness um, has to do with a Gemini some of you have to forgive a Gemini so if you were in a relationship with a Gemini you need to forgive this person Pluto is going to remove in the Gemini's and the Aquarius out of your life and with this removal um, you are going to have a sense of renewal in your life which is very good and no matter what is going on um, Saturnus is bringing acceptance and the, with this acceptance you have to understand that life is about to change the isolation is going to be over you're going to be um, forgiven who needs to forgive and whatever is happening with work and the, um, the confusion and illusion um, this will be resolved okay this full moon reading is from the 15th of May until the 15th of June please um, 
if you would like to see the extended of this reading it's going to take another hour um the extended of this reading please connect and uh, you can find the extended of this reading as you use the link below this video i want to say to each and every person i am wishing you guys a really really wonderful um full moon um it is uh, this full moon is affecting a lot of people there is not so much positive energy in this full moon because it's as if there's a lot of clearing that is happening namaste until next time